What is going on guys? My name is Nightwalker and I want to show you how to mod your account on BO3. Uh, you're going to need two things for this. One is the T7 compiler, which I'm looking at right now. And two is going to be the uh, icebreaker menu for my Discord. Uh, both will be in the description below. And uh, for anyone that is curious, uh, the T7 compiler is open source and it is made by the same person that made uh, T7 patch, uh, Shiversoft Dev. Uh, what you need is this update.zip file right here from the releases. So we're going to click on that and download the update.zip. And once we have that, uh, we can go ahead and open our, our Windows drive here. Uh, so all we need is this T7 folder right here, and that's it. So I'm just going to drag that straight into the root of my uh, C drive, and that would be it. Uh, so now, now that we have this, we're going to need the uh, icebreaker menu, and that is going to be on my Discord server right here. Um, once you join, uh, all you need is this icebreaker menu channel right here, and a lot of people join and then immediately leave, but they would be missing out on all these updates that I give the menu. Um, I mean, there's a lot more here as well. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and download this v4.8 and that is there. So now that we have those, we're going to go ahead and open Black Ops 3. Alrighty, now that we have Black Ops 3 open, what we're going to go ahead and do is open up the debug compiler right here that we just downloaded. Uh, you're going to get this. This just means that the program is unsigned and does not have a certificate. That is completely fine. And we're also going to go to our downloads. Before we inject, we need to make sure that BO3 is open. Uh, we are at the main menu. And we also need to know that Icebreaker is a zombies only menu. Uh, there is no GSC menu that will work on the multiplayer side. You have to be a host of the game in order to use a GSC menu and you cannot be host on multiplayer. That being said, we're gonna press I on the injector we are going to drag over icebreaker and hit enter and now we are injected we can actually just close that uh so now we're going to go into zombies and as you can see my account is already modded but for you guys i want to just prove to you that uh it's completely automated actually so we're going to do a fresh restart we're level one and if we look at our weapon kits that take about 10 business years to open um you'll see that I no longer have any of the weapons or anything like that. So we are pretty much, except for Gobble Gums, on a completely fresh account now. So the cool thing about this new script that I've made is it completely automates the process of doing account recovery. And I'll show you exactly how it works step by step. So I'm just gonna load up Verruckt um, because it loads the fastest. Alrighty, so we are in Verruckt. Also, a quick tip, if you ever want to use uh, this mod menu online, all you have to do is go to Host Options, go to uh, Server Settings, and then Force Host. And now all you have to do is join an online game if you want to use this menu online. Uh, but to mod our account, we're going to go to Personal Options. We're going to go down to Stats, and we're going to select this option right here called Full Account Recovery. This will... Uh, basically start in a completely automated script to a uh, modder account. So we're going to select that. And as you can see, it is going to start doing some stuff. So right now it is giving us liquid. It is unlocking uh, steam achievements for us. It is maxing out our stats, all that cool stuff. So now we are a level 1000. It just gave us max rank. It's unlocking all the weapons. Let me turn on Godbud. Uh, it's unlocking all the camos for those weapons, and here in a second it will actually do a fast restart all by itself. Um, a lot of people don't know this when doing account recoveries, but you actually need to restart the game to make sure that everything sticks properly, and it's about to do that for us right now. So, it has restarted the game by itself, and in a second it's going to do part 2 of the script. So now it's trying to make sure that camos are being unlocked properly and all that cool stuff. 
and we kind of just sit here and let it do its thing. In a second, we'll do one more fast restart by itself. There we go. It's doing another one right now. Alrighty. And this should be the final step of the account recovery. So it's saying finishing unlock all. We are doing part three of it. And here in a second, we'll be given uh, instructions on how to finish the unlock all process. There we go. So now we got instructions on our screen. And for the most part, what it says is end game to do. I'm sorry, end game and do a unlock all for weapons and attachments. I'm just like sick as hell. That's not what it says, probably. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do exactly that. So we're going to go ahead and end the game and go back to main menu. Alrighty, so now that we go back to main menu, we're going to go right back into Verrect and do exactly what the message on screen said. Alrighty, so now that we are in game, all you need to do is this last part, which is we're going to go right back to the stats option. And instead of uh, full account recovery this time, we're actually going to go to this unlock all part right here. So as you can see, what that's doing is now it's unlocking all the attachments for the weapons. We already had all the weapons and the camos for them because of the, uh, the script that we just did. Now it's doing all the attachments for them. I'm sorry, camos and uh, weapons. So we're waiting right now for a message that says it's finished and we just got it. Finish unlock all for player Nightwalker lots. So when we see that message on the top of the screen, we're going to go ahead and we're not going to kill server just yet. We're actually going to do a fast restart this time. And that's going to make sure that what we just did sticks properly. So now when we're back in game again, uh, all we do is we hit kill server and we'll show you that we have everything. The, compl uh, the account is just completely modded now. So as you can see, we are max prestige. Uh, we're max level, level 1000. All, all, all of our stats are maxed out and stuff like that. Uh, even we can go ahead and change our prestige icon if we truly want to. I like this one because no one really uses it. Um, and if we go into our weapon kits, uh, which takes about you know 15 business years to open, uh, we'll see that all the weapons are now unlocked. Uh, if we go into one of these, uh, like the AK, uh, all the camos are going to be here now, all the zombies, uh, all the multiplayer, we got the dark matter camo, and all the extras as well. And as you can see, all the attachments for every single gun is going to be unlocked as well. Um, you should have a good bit of liquid divinium um, after all that, at least maybe like a few thousand. Um, you're not going to have anywhere near as much liquid as, as I have, but you should have a good bit after this process. Um, so, uh, not only the account, but all of our Steam achievements should be uh, good to go too. I appreciate you guys watching this far in the video. Uh, comment down below uh, 4.8 if you watch this far. Uh, and I'll see you next time in you know a couple months whenever I decide to upload again. Peace. I don't want to go back. Either you can come and save me or just let my heart collapse Either you can come and clean me or let me fall into relapse Either you can come and save me or just stab me in the back I don't want it to go back, I don't want it to go back Yeah.